all right guys welcome back welcome back to the channel so um with just a little bit of a twist see that uh that bolt there just came off so basically it's like sits in there like that um so if i could show you guys a little close up here um it sits in there like that um and we have uh, and that's that bushing right there um so we have ordered us a brand new pin uh so that sh that is uh, an order from england so that should come uh that should take about uh there we go that should take about another two weeks because i've um, ordered it about three weeks ago already um so yeah um actually guys the pin the hinge pin there does not um does not look too bad you know like i said after seven years of of not replacing it uh so we're just gonna inspect that part because um when i took it back to the bike shop you know this is like uh um i mean proper steel you know this is this is uh this is very thick maybe like um an eighth of an inch steel here guys so um because the fellow told me that for some reason this this is not safe um that this is not safe to drive um but i don't see any damage apart from a little bit of uh paint rust here but as you guys can imagine that went through uh four and a half years of the jungle um without any maintenance to these parts so so actually it does not look too bad um there's the little bit that we that we drilled out guys um so yeah so this is gonna stand like that for a couple of weeks now um now and next thing on the agenda will be to get this these bits off here and need to replace uh two of those sprockets there um so i've ordered a, a brand new set of sprockets uh so we'll have our disc um we'll have our um bottom bracket we'll have our brand new hinge pin um and that brand new so it should good good be should be good for another couple of years uh before any maintenance is due um guys so uh so yeah uh, let me grab that part and yeah just inspect it again but like uh yeah it actually looks in in pretty good because this here is uh <coughs> stainless steel um and the new one that i ordered because when i when i bought the bike the uh the guy the fantastic service guy um at the uh compton cycles in southeast london catford in an, a neighborhood called catford um uh that wonderful fellow had offered me one of these but titanium um but then you know it was a lot more expensive than i wanted to pay um so i just re uh refused it but the one the one i reordered um is the titanium one so yeah guys um we're moving up in the world a little bit but uh yeah um so we finally got that off and yeah basically um i guess in these model in this model of the brompton uh they say that about 20 percent of the bikes this uh this happens to um so after watching a few videos um of course i read i read a uh, number of a uh, number of uh comments you know that that um people were that uh, pe people commented and basically a lot of people had said that uh the mechanic who figured out you know how that little tool to release that 
and then if it all all else fails heat it up and just drill it out in, in the worst case scenario that the mechanic is a genius but the wonderful people at uh, brompton cycles the engineers um have a little bit of a um, case of probably a little bit of a bad design i mean this is this um, this is not my words i don't share that uh view because you know i'm not a bike expert um i'm just merely a bicycle owner who likes to work on his work on his own bikes but some people felt that the design uh behind this was not uh was not cool um but then again in bikes after 2000 oh no i think after 2018 uh this has changed so i guess you know like my my model is a 2016 so i guess you know this has happened this was happening a lot um and who knows maybe have been have maybe it, it has been a recall but because i was in the amazon jungle of peru guys you know i did not um i did not hear of it um or no nobody's informed me that there was a recall on this um but i'm sure the newer models aren't um aren't like this hard to just to remove the uh hinge pin um you know so anyways guys so we've got the pin removed i probably um i'm gonna do do some riding with my other two uh, wonderful bikes uh, in the next week or so or maybe we might even take a little spin tonight um the weather in chicago has improved it's now in the like middle 50, 40s and the low 50s and stuff so uh we're gonna take a nice little spring ride um as uh it is it is officially uh march 20th so it is officially the first day of spring guys um so I'd like to welcome you guys to the spring, and then we're going to have take take a little spring ride. I haven't figured out where we can go yet, but we're going to go close something close, uh, close something nearby. And uh, again, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you learned what not to do. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. It helps my channel grow. Thank you. Hasta la chao chao, bye for now, over and out from the concrete jungles of Chicago Garage.